In this tutorial, we will examine a welding effect of different objects with different materials that can be used for procedural modeling techniques. The basic actions can be demonstrated on a simple cube. Later we will apply the same technique on more complex geometry. Acceptable results can be achieved if we will increase the number of segments. Create a duplicate of this cube and change its position to your liking. Now it's time to union these two objects by utilizing a Boolean generator. Make these cubes, child of the newly created generator, and change the Boolean type to union. We can apply welding effect by utilizing smoothing deformer. Place the deformer after these cubes and change its stiffness value to your liking. As you can see, smoothing deformer has no influence over the intersecting polygons. This is because our cubes are two separated objects. We have to enable an appropriate option of our Boolean generator in order to solve this problem. Note if you change the position of these cubes, the Boolean generator will create many unnecessary edges that will cause some shading artifacts. Relatively better results can be achieved if we will hide these new edges. Note how this option affects the shading of your geometry. It is worth mentioning that the boolean generator creates a hidden selection tag by enabling select intersection option. That can be used in combination with bevel deformer. Simply write the name into selection field in order to apply bevel effect only to the intersecting edges and place it instead of smoothing deformer. geometry, now it's time to go further and apply this welding technique to more complex G. In this example, we will be using a simple torus. But you can use any object and change its settings to your liking. Note if you attempt to apply smoothing deformer, its effect will be used across all your polygons. One of the essential parts of this technique is a fall-off shape of smoothing deformer. We have to match the coordinates of smoothing deformer with the Storis object in order to restrict the influence only to its surface. This task can be easily accomplished by utilizing transfer tool. Drag and drop your torus into the transfer field and press the apply button to match its position very precisely. Now you are able to select both of these objects and change their coordinates to your liking. Unfortunately, 
the Boolean generator is not able to process more than two objects in its hierarchy. If you create a copy of one of your objects, its geometry will be simply ignored. We are able to bypass this limitation by grouping both of your objects separately. Now you are able to duplicate any of this objects and connect its geometry with another one. Bear in mind, objects from the same group will be represented as a single one, so the Boolean object will not be able to connect its polygons. You have to simply drag and drop the desired object into another group. This will specify that the object is a part of another geometry, so the Boolean generator will be able to connect these polygons with objects from another group. You probably guessed that this limitation does not apply to your deformers. We are able to use as many deformers as we want, as well as use any number of different falloff shapes. We already know how to weld several objects, but what if we want to blend their materials and keep their procedural features? This task can be easily accomplished by utilizing proximal shader that is based on distance dependencies. Drag and drop desired geometry into the objects field. We will be able to see its effect only during the rendering process. The shader outputs a luminance value based on how far away the surface being shaded is from a specified object. We have to retrieve information from edges and vertices instead of object center. This feature works with editable geometry, but we are able to take advantages of Correction Deformer in order to keep all parametric features of your object. Make the Deformer child of a torus and drop it into the Objects field. This specifies that we will be using edges and vertices of our geometry without making it editable, and the torus object is no longer necessary. We can simply select it and delete. Right now, the effect is too strong. We have to decrease the end distance value in order to get more appropriate results. You can also change the intensity value to your liking and define the overall power of blending effect. Now it's time to remap these colors by utilizing Colorizer Shader. The left side of this gradient will represent your base object. And the right side will represent our torus. As you can see, we are able to efficiently weld different objects with different materials by utilizing Boolean Generator in combination with Smoothing Deformer and Proximal Shader.